Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at Water Library Aquatic Water Add-on plus Fountain from the folks at Polygonic. This is their brand new add-on and the beautiful thing is right now they're doing a 33% off since this add-on is just pretty new. So it is available for the first 333 persons that would use the coupon code SPLASH33 during checkout. Now one of the cool things that you need to know about this add-on is it is built in such a way that you get very realistic renderings without costing you so much time in terms of performance. And this add-on comes with a couple of 2D and 3D water assets which just makes you creating these water-like assets and also water in Blender extremely easy. So to take a look at how this works, let's dive directly into Blender. And with Blender simply open right here, how you get to work with this is super easy. All you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. And once you install the add-on, if you tap N on the keyboard, you'd notice that you have the polygonic tab and you have the aquatic add-on right here. So let's get rid of the cube and then click on the spawn asset. And once we do that, you would notice that we have the gigantic thumbnail where we can preview all of the assets that exist within a given category. Right now we have three categories that deals with effect, fountain, and also modular. And based off this, you can select certain things and get to work with them. So if you'd like to get some fountains, you can click and you can select any fountain that you want and then click on OK and that fountain automatically loads. And if you'd like to preview what this looks like, if you switch over to the shader, you can now preview this and if you press the playback button, you would notice that this automatically starts animating. So if you're into architectural visualization, this is definitely something that you would love to work with as first of all, it is very easy to just simply load this into your viewport and how you get to work with this is super, super nice. So you can see that we're having textures that are running through to create this very realistic water-like effect and you have some very well-made models that you can use. Let's grab this and move this over to the side and explore some other models. So if I click on the spawn asset as well, you can see that we have some more models. I can click, click on OK, and we can load that in as well. And this is looking extremely nice. Let's also explore some more. If we click on this button and we go ahead and check out, let's check out this one. This looks nice. All right, so you can also see that we have some very, very beautiful things here. Now, these are not the only ones that you get here. You also have the modular ones and the modular ones definitely makes it even worth the while trying to create some sort of asset or, you know, construct an entire scene based off those assets. So in certain cases, you might want to control how the water works or probably how the water gets to distribute across the surface or probably how it flows. And that is where the modular asset comes in handy. And by the way, if you like to render this, this is supported for both EV and cycles. And it just looks extremely nice once you hit the render button and preview what this actually offers. So with this said, let's take a look at what we can get if we choose to work with the modular assets. So I'm just gonna go all the way back here and get rid of that. Click on the spawn asset, click on the drop down, go over to the modular asset, and you can see that we have different kinds of modular assets. So these assets are just here for you to be able to play with them, tweak them, get some very good result out of them. And working with this is also extremely interesting. If we switch over to our shader view, you can see that we have this, press the playback button, see this animate in real time, looking extremely nice already. And in most cases, let's say you like to have the waterfall start from here over to this part, or just have some sort of scattered distribution. How this works is also very nice. Once you have the object selected, you can click on convert to editable. And once you do that, if you have this object, which is the main one selected, you can now go over to the section called paint alpha mask. Now, if we go over to the paint alpha mask, we can start painting the mask. But one thing to know, is the folks at Polygonic have done this model in such a way that they are very light and it is quite easy for you to work with. So for you to get the best out of painting this mask, you might need to subdivide the model. So to subdivide this is very simple. You just simply need to go over to your modifier section, throw in a subdivision surface, and you can subdivide this by three or four, depending on how much density you want. And once we have the subdivision like so, we don't want this to look like cutting. So we're just going to switch this to simple. And once we have that ready, click on the drop down button, apply this. And from here, you can start making some changes. Tap F on the keyboard to increase your brush size. And you can go in and paint out the parts that you don't want the water to fall from. So in this case, you can control how the waterfall actually behaves. And if you're thinking about having the waterfall just happen from a point like this, or maybe from a point like this, you can literally control these things by yourself. And once you're ready, click on the return button and then press the playback button and you can simply get what you want. 
And this applies to all of the modular assets that exist. And you can go ahead and start having fun working with these things. If you would like to play with effects as well, there's a couple of effects that exist from the splash circular all the way to the spray circular and also the splash static. Go ahead and grab this add-on and start playing with it. And like we mentioned earlier, the first 333 persons would be the first to get these are 33 percent right now by simply using the coupon code splash 33 links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out and of course if you're thinking about getting more stuff from the folks at polygonic if you go over to their storefront you would notice that they have the traffic the botanic material material and also the blender kitty you can go ahead and check out all of these see which of them works for you and download them and start creating that amazing masterpiece that you've always wanted to make Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.